Hello there and welcome to the C++ basic tutorial presented to you by the code brewery. I Ridesh Talda is here to help you in the course. In this topic we will learn about C++ functions. What is a function? A function is a group of statements that together perform a task or it is a block of code also we can say. If you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe, like, comment and share with your fellow mates as it costs just a tap to you and means well to us so please do and let's get started okay so let us see about some functions every c++ program has at least one function which is main and all the most trivial programs can define additional functions so we can say that main is a function from which the program enters into the the compiler enters into the program and exits through it and it's the most important function now function has three parts it has declaration call and definition the C++ standard library provides numerous built-in functions that your program can call for example strcpy or string copy and memcpy memory copy and etc a function is known with various names like a method or a subroutine or a procedure etc so we can say that a functions can be of two types built-in and user defined we saw the example of uh, built-in functions we'll see the example of user defined also okay so in this section we'll see about defining a function we'll start with defining it a general form for defining a function is we normally write the return type return type uh, can be of any basic data types or uh, which you might create by using the type def keyword which we have discussed earlier we write return type then function name if you want to add the parameter list we use it you we kind of declare it by using commas between them if we want to declare one or more then parenthesis and within the parenthesis the body of function is written function parts are return type its function name return type is the basic data type function name the name which we want to give it it will be of uh, user defined data functions the parameters and the body of function as we can see through the example that we have written a function called max int is the return type which will which will which the function will return max is the function name int num1 comma int num2 is the parameter list and we declare some local variable int result if the num1 is greater than num2 then result will be num1 or else it will be num2 as we have seen the if else statement in decision making statements and the return result happens and we return the result which is of int type okay now we'll discuss about declaration of a function how we declare it a function declaration tells the compiler about a function name and how to call the function now the general form is normally return type function name and parameter list this can happen at the top of the this should happen at the top of the program so that the compiler knows that a function is going to be declared and its its definition is going to happen either at afterwards or in the end of the program from the general form you have seen example we as we have seen in the previous example int main int num1 comma int num2 or also we can say that int max comma int comma int and semicolon here we don't define the name here in declaration we can define it in the definition of function if we see about the calling of a function now its definition would be while creating a c++ function you give a definition of what the function has to do to use a function you will have to call or invoke the that function and invoking that function requires the calling of a function from the example we can see that inside the int main first we have declared it outside all the functions in the starting int max and in the main function we call it using we call it like max comma a comma b bracket a comma b and then we they can define the function and hence calling of function happens 
okay if we see about some function arguments there are of three types which we'll see if a function is to use arguments it must declare variables that accept the values of that arguments these variables are called formal parameters of a function now what kind of call types are there call by value call by pointers and call by reference if we define them one by one this method copy call by value method copies the actual value of an argument into the formal parameter of the function call by pointer does what the, this method copies the address of an argument into the formal parameters and call by reference means that this method copies the reference of an argument into the formal parameters all three are same yet some people consider pointer and reference usually same but no they are different they are different in somewhat means in call by value the met, the value of that argument is copied into the formal parameters of the function so nothing happens in the into the actual actual the variable from which it has been copied if we see call by pointer the method copies the address of an argument into the formal parameter and any changes made in that formal parameter is also reflected back in the main variable from which the variable value has been copied since the address of that variable has been copied and in reference we'll see about reference in the coming few videos so we'll talk about it at that point of time and we'll move on to our next topic okay if we come to about default arguments this is also an important point in functions when you define a function you can specify a default value for each of the last parameters that means that the function the parameter which would be the most rightmost has to be defined with a value you can't define with the leftmost and don't define a value for the rightmost it would be a wrong protocol this value will be used if the corresponding argument is left blank when calling the function if you call the function and you don't give a value at the time of its calling but you have given a default argument before so it will take that value and will be use that value in the block of code of function as you can see through the example okay so that was the wrap for the topic i do hope you understood the topic well and if not please do tell what thing you didn't understand and i will try to make it more better please do like subscribe comment and share with your fellow mates and i hope you do great and learn great and let's go with the next topic